My name is Adam MacArthur and I'm from Los Angeles, California. Whenever anyone mentions Shaolin Temple, it brings me back to eight years ago when I had the opportunity to travel there. And I got to see the front gates for the first time, the meditation hall, the training halls, and I even got to perform there with the Shaolin monks. Shaolin Kung Fu means to me strength, speed, power, and living life humbly and always working hard. One of my earliest memories is wanting to train Shaolin Kung Fu. I don't know where it came from, but I always remember asking my parents, please put me in Kung Fu. And it wasn't until I got beat up in sixth grade that they allowed me to start training. I've been practicing Shaolin Kung Fu for 19 and a half years. It started when I was 11 years old. Not only do I practice Kung Fu, but I follow the principles of Kung Fu. And it affects all areas of my life. Soon I'll be going to Moscow, where there I'll meet the abbot and watch a hundred of his top monks perform in Red Square. After that, we'll be flying to the Shaolin Temple, where we'll spend over two weeks digging deep. I'll be getting to spend time with monks. I'll be getting to spend more time with the abbot. After that, we'll head to Los Angeles, where the abbot will join us and oversee a competition held there for competitors all over the US to come and compete against one another. We kicked off our world tour today here in Moscow, where we followed the abbot down to Red Square. So when I first walked into Red Square, I was awestruck by the sheer size and beauty of the buildings there. And uh, it's all being dressed up right now for the International Military Music Festival, Spaska Tower. You have St. Basil's Cathedral on the south side, with these colorful spindles. It's an iconic picture of Russia when you look at it. I was able to follow the abbot and all the monks on a tour in the Kremlin, which is a lot like taking a tour of the White House in the United States. One of the first buildings I came to in the Kremlin was the Ivan the Great Bell Tower, which for a long time was the tallest view in all of Moscow. Then as I turned the corner, there was these two cathedrals, the Assumption Cathedral and the Annunciation Cathedral that sort of flanked the entrance to the Great Kremlin Palace. Today I had the opportunity to visit the Great Kremlin Palace. I was blown away. Right when we first walked in, there's this beautiful grand staircase that led up to this ginormous painting. All these columns had intricate, detailed gold carvings. I saw a lot of masterful paintings throughout all the rooms. All the colors were really bright and vibrant and elaborate. It felt like I was on an episode of Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. And really, you could tell, encompassed over 800 years of Russian history. <laughs> 